Abraham, we're supposed to be working. What are you doing out there? <laughs> Where you have a missing pump. Does anybody have a pump finder out there in YouTube world? Engineer 775. Got myself into a little bit of trouble this time. Glad I got Abraham or else uh, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> we... We are, at, um, I mean, pretty excited about this project using the Pico Blender, which we're going to put up here on solar pole over here. Uh, this is a solar irrigation, and we're pulling water out of the pond down there. And we've already put the pump in. But in starting to trench our line up through, we hit the everything. We had to replace this culvert. We've hit... Oh, who knows how many sprinkler lines and once you break something you really need to chase it to the end and like for instance this one was we oh, no nobody knows where anything is so it's just start digging so we hit crazy amounts of wire and from one and a half inch pvc to half inch pvc to schedule 20 real paper thin oh my goodness so we have spent more time fixing than working but we're getting good at fixing <laughs> oh my goodness all right so i'll stop whining this is a really cool project once we get it up and running this is a acdc um, they had uh, 240 volts down here they had power we're picking that up and we're going to take that to the controller we're taking solar to the controller and then we got a three phase wire going straight down to the pump and then we're going to bury a bladder tank and use the control off the bladder tank to control turn the pump on and off via the pico blender controller the inverter this uh, vfd soft start inverter so really excited about showing that but i can never seem to get to it because we're stuck in this hole for the last two days so anyway we'll be back with hopefully it'll look much better okay we've made it up out of the treacherous zone col new culverts in pipes are in we got to put our we're going to build a top of pole mount it's called tpm 8 we'll take eight trina panels on the six inch steel post and uh the fun part is about to begin we like to wait till it's as hot as possible in the south and then you start throwing 42 bags of quick crate around it's the best time to do it like it's when it's you know two in the afternoon and there's no shade that's the best time to mix quick creek anyway <laughs> we're gonna continue on up here we gotta go oh boy 600 feet around the corner here we're gonna be uh, using a bladder tank with a pressure switch for controls to the pico cell controller getting that pre-plumbed <sighs> always the MVP on the job the little Yanmar can get in and out of places um, just rip this rip 10 feet of this uh, culvert apart because I had to move it so she's it's a handy handy dandy piece of equipment so we're just doing some trenching here and uh, I've got to get across this road but it's a highly trafficked spot across this road so we're gonna wait till everybody leaves and uh, sneak across the road at night because I got to get up there and go about 500 feet across utilities and all that so oh but uh if we didn't have this Yanmar well I just wouldn't be doing it wouldn't be doing this so anyhow let's get to work mix some mud I'm stalling all right day four on a most challenging job we're installing for the first time, the Pico Blender. It's an ACDC VFD soft start controller. And we have fed grid power into it. We can, we're gonna feed solar into it once we build this top of pole mount. We're using a IMO disconnect on the right hand side. So there's a, a DC disconnect and then there's an AC disconnect on the right hand side. So that's very helpful. We're wiring in the pressure switch right now. You can do float switches, normally closed, normally open, uh, a lot of flexibility in uh, the type of sensors you want to use to control your motor or your pump, in this case a pump. Again, this is the Pico Blender 2500, up, good up to two horsepower pumps. So we're going to put it through its paces here 
I'll be pumping that pond water up to uh, basically we're going behind us across we got across the road last night we have to go oh oh hundreds and hundreds of feet and put in like 12 sprinklers and hydrants for livestock so we're gonna we have a lot of digging to do so this one week job became two weeks so we are gonna be back tomorrow hopefully to pump some water so let me just show you the back side of this got uh, our somewhat buried bladder tank and pressure switch controls our two inch supply line goes by this and then we've got our IMOs we got our DC disconnect our AC disconnect and this is the new blender so we've got the AC load solar warning blender and uh, we'll uh, fire up tomorrow so okay debut of the Pico blender we wanted to clean out the pipe see if we got water and folks we got water lots of cool irrigation water all right <laughs> oh that's why we work so hard I think uh, so that's good success we got to come back here and finish up I just want to make sure it's working this is on solar only running a Pentair horse and a half pump we're pumping 20 gallons a minute oh my goodness <laughs> oh, we bust our butt on this one and uh, it's just nice nice when it works okay all right we're back at our solar irrigation site and we're building some sprinklers to the customers spec and desire and they're just manually operated sprinkler heads rain birds on about a four foot five foot extension and then we're going to use t posts to secure them we're just gluing away and priming away and and uh we're gonna also add some frost free hydrants so we're putting uh, four hydrants in 13 sprinkler heads off of our two inch trunk line from our pico blender driven pump so this is uh i don't know day six <laughs> This project is uh, going a little slower than it, we had hoped, but there's a, just a lot of work. There's no way around it. So we're getting to it. And uh, pretty soon we'll get back to trenching and we'll put all these sprinkler heads in. There's a fountain in here somewhere. Oh, there it goes. Hey. That's kind of cool. All right, there's uh, our pump running on solar. And we're just testing all the valves and stuff they've had in for years. That's kind of nice. Beautiful home tucked back in the woods. And a nice little pond down here below. So we're pumping water. It really does need aeration. Look at it. So we'll be getting into solar aeration, pond aeration soon. This is something they already had existing. Oh, that's great. So that's on her old system. Nice little place here she's been working on for years. We did a lot of, sorry about the film, did a lot of uh, trenching, a lot of plumbing. I think we, almost 2,000 feet and a lot of different challenging, I guess the hardest part was plumbing it to the, finding all the mystery, uh, mystery pipes that were in the ground. So there was a lot here. So we ended up isolating all of her old stuff with one master control valve and a drain. She can drain everything out. And there's a lot of these old sprinkler heads, but they do work. They just probably are clogged, need to be cleaned out a little bit. Oh, it felt good to jump in the pond. It's been supposed to hit 100 today. So we saved uh, checking the pump out. The pump is in here. It is a 20 gallon a minute. Pentair pump and there's a, a ramp that goes down about 45 degrees little pocket for it to sit in and uh, so hopefully she's not going to fight too much dirty water 
in terms of uh, the sprinkler heads jamming up. But uh, I think it's time to head on out.